Welcome to Pure Media Academy tutorial. My name is Benny Fink and I like to talk about how to remove annoying objects from your footage using blur in Premiere. Here I have some footage with an annoying object up here. And when I scrub through the footage you see it just stays there and becomes a distraction for the viewer. So I like to remove it as much as possible. What you can do is make a patch in Photoshop and you can look up earlier tutorials I made to see how this is done. Here's the patch. Put it on top of the annoying object and you see it is gone. You can switch the patch on and off and it seems to look perfect and normally it works but in this case it doesn't. And let me show you why. When I scrub through the footage you see the room becomes less bright but the, the patch remains its brightness so it shows up and sticks out and becomes an annoying object. So in this case it doesn't work. It works fine when the room maintains its brightness but now we have to find another solution and that's found in Blur. So how do we use Blur? We have to copy the layers of video. So now we have two layers of video and we're going to blur the top layer. Let me look up the blur effect and you can see we have different kind of blurs and it's good to experiment with that but today I want to use camera blur. There it is, camera blur. Put it on top of the top layer and you see everything is blurred. To solve that, we have to isolate this area in the top layer and that can be done with a perfect tool. It's called four point garbage mate. Put it on the top layer, layer two, video two and you see that nothing has changed. And when you go to effects, effects controls and click on the four point garbage, you see in the corners four dots, four circles appear and you can drag your mate towards the annoying footage. Let me show what you're doing. I switch off the bottom See, this is video one, and on top of, of it is video two. But because they're the same, you don't see the difference, and you don't see something laying on top of it. So, now you have isolated the footage. It's time to switch the blur on. There you go. And the annoying object is gone. Perhaps you still see a little bit up here and you can tweak it by moving your blur percentage. You can tweak it. You can tweak it by moving this about and make it work for you. Well, thank you for joining us. I wish you a lot of creativity. Bye bye. 